Hey everyone, this is Arun Reddy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel Arun Reddy Tech for you. In this video, we are going to discuss about data models. So friends, if you are new to my video and if you want to learn DBMS, you can go through my channel playlist. In channel playlist, you will find a folder called DBMS which contains videos in English and there is another uh, folder which is DBMS in Telugu which contains videos in Telugu. And if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share my videos. So coming to our topic data models. So let us see what is this data models is actually. Okay, so data model define how log how the logical structure of a data base is modeled. So what you are saying how your logical see it is describing sorry it is defining the logical structure of database. So it is showing logical data structure okay so logical data structure and it is also see data models are fundamental entities to introduce data abstraction in dbms what do you mean by data abstraction uh, data abstraction is nothing but a hiding confidential data and showing a, only a data which is required to the user or a client okay so data abstraction see in the, the data models are fundamental entities to introduce data abstraction so from these data models only we got a um, concept called data abstraction where client will be somewhere and server will be somewhere and uh, all the data can be sh cannot be shown to the client right so data abstraction what it will do it will show only uh, required information to the client right so this is introduced by who again data model okay data model define how data is connected to each other and how they are processed and stored inside the system so what you are saying how a client and server are connected how they the how the data are processed and how the data is stored all these are who who will be defined data models so there are enormous data models okay in that we will take some important uh, data models okay so i am taking just most popular five most popular data models they are like a hierarchical model network model relation model object oriented model and entity relation so let us start first with the hierarchical model. So hierarchical model as name indicate hierarchical data models, uh, database contains data in hierarchical arranged data. Hierarchical generally when we, when we say hierarchical it is also a tree model. We will also say it as tree model. Why we will say tree model because uh, you can see a diagram here. Okay. So what it contains electronics from electronics. Uh, uh, television and portable electronics in television again uh, tube. LCD, plasma and portable MP player, uh, CD and two-way radio. So they are categorized, right? So if you reverse this, it looks like tree. See, root from root again, branch, branches again, sub branches and leaves, right? Same thing happened in the hierarchical model. Hierarchical model, what it contains? If it contains one parent, okay? So parent will have a children. That's why it is called one to many children. See, one to many relation. Parent will have children. See, children will not have many parents okay one parent will have many children that's why it is a one to many that means uh, here we'll have a parent and child and one parent many children one parent will have a many children see so you see chill, uh, here we have a television now television is a parent for a tube lcd plasma and here portable electronics is uh, parent for a uh, mp3 player cd player and uh, two-way radio here again see many children will have one parent that's why one to many one parent will have a many children's right so that's why it is called as men one to many uh, relationship now you you can see plasma cannot be connected with the mp3 player because if uh, it has to communicate it has to go through the television and electronics again portable electronics see this is how it is connected okay so that's why it is called one to many relationship now let us go to the next relationship network data model uh, unlike hierarchical data model network data model allows multiple parents and child relationship that means many to many see you can see here order is connected to sales order is connected to manager order is connected to customers here order contains multiple parents right and you can see sales also contain multiple children so here multiple parents will have multiple children okay so it's many to many okay so it's not like one to many only one parent you should have and you cannot connect to others no it can connect to anyone right so anyone can be connected to anyone that's called many to many many multiple parents will have many children right next comes relational data model uh, relational data model contains rows and columns okay and uh, the 
tables are also called as relation and uh, in this data is represented in the form of table c you can see this is a table and uh, table contains what and we can also say tables are relation and relation is nothing but a table okay so tables are called relation or relationals okay and uh, it contains rows and columns see and uh, tables are tuples and columns are called attributes so tables can be called uh, rows or rows are called sorry rows are called uh, uh, tuples or records we can also solve okay and uh, attributes columns are called as attributes here right okay next object oriented data model database object oriented and uh, did you remember the c plus plus and uh, java where the data is represented in the form of objects where we can where it contains a class right uh, here also you can see see the data is not represented in form of table but they are represented in the form of objects where a person contains name age set name okay student contains roll number branches set marks right so this is called object oriented next one is entity relational model uh, er model er model contains three things one is entity which is represented in the form of rectangle and attributes which are represented in form of uh, ellipse and a relationship which are represented in the form of diamond or a we can also call as rhombus so this is er model okay so in this model it will visualize us how a data is represented okay how they are connected to each other right okay so these are the models which we have so once again the data different models we have is one is hierarchical model hierarchical model contains one to many relationship and a parent one parent many children and next next one is second one is network model which contains many to many many parents and many children and third model relational model which contains tables and rows um, data is represented in the form of tables and rows and uh, tables are represented in the form sorry uh, rows are tuples and uh, table uh, columns are called as attributes and next object oriented where uh, data is represented in the form of objects and next one is entity relation model which contains entity attributes and relation so these are the data models so if you like my video please do subscribe and support me thank you